Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette and I'm going to be doing a project including this beautiful beagle here, some Crayola markers and some styrofoam. Now if you're not sure how to make the styrofoam stamps please have a look at my daisy video and that'll show you exactly what I do for all of my styrofoam stamps and also just a reminder that the line drawings are available to you via my email so please just send me an email and I'll get them straight to you. Okay, so what I've done here is set up a little bit of a guide so I can register my stamp exactly in the same place and my paper this time around is going to go over my stamp here and just pull back and I'm going to work that way with it. So I've cut out a little bit of thick card here and I have a A5 sheet of paper on here as well and I have my styrofoam stamp and I put some masking tape on the bottom just to secure it to here. And I'm just placing that down into here, giving that a nice press down. And that's all secured now. Now I also take my piece of A5 paper that I'm going to be using to place on top. And I secure it firmly down the bottom. Now I place a small piece of tape first over the paper I'll be using and also onto the bottom sheet on both sides like a hinge. And then I place another piece of masking tape down here on the line just so I can secure that hinge a little bit more because I'll be going backwards and forwards with this paper. So I've got everything ready to start. So I'm now going to just do sections at a time with this Crayola marker because it does dry fairly quickly and I want to pick that up with the paper that I will be putting down and just rubbing on where I've put the Crayola marker. So here we go. So I've just held my marker on its side and I'm just going to place a little bit in here. I want my background here to be orange so I'm going to see how we go with that. So just the sheet up from the bottom, let it fall down naturally. Give that a light rub and see if we can pick anything up. Oftentimes we need to wet our paper a little bit, but I'm going to try it dry to start with. Beautiful. And so we can go over that again. We're just building our layers. And the quicker we get it up, the better. And you can see that's just building beautifully. Now we'll come down into here. I'm just going to go back over here. Place that on pressing that down and this is what I will be doing all the way around then I'm going to be working on top of this later perhaps with a little bit of watercolour. So I will speed this up now and continue the process. I will do one with a wet sheet of paper so I can show you what that's like and you'll see how both the wet and dry come together. And I will start on the puppy dog. Okay, so this is coming along nicely. We just keep going. Okay, turning it on its side. That way you'll get to see it as I turn this back. I know that I've got a black pupil just in the eye here. I can either add that now or add that later. We know that his nose is nice and black. Okay, and we've got black toenails. And we've got a little bit of black up here. Okay. Now I'm going to pop in this black border just along here. Now I want to put a little bit of a black line around here. See if I can get that outline. So there's our image, it doesn't look much now, but it is going to come up looking like this, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love this little fella. Now the way to do this using wet paper is by drawing everything on, just colouring it in onto your styrofoam, 
and that dries there and when we have the design all coloured in we're going to spray some paper now you can use copy paper it does crinkle up a bit but I still just use the copy paper and of course you can use watercolour paper whatever will hold just a really light spray of water we're not going to put too much on so I'm just going here and getting all my black pieces and I'm going to colour my background again okay that's enough there I'm just going to go over our blue areas some orange for his eyes now I'm going to get a piece of normal copy paper I'm just going to lay it down here on the side and I'm going to get my little spray bottle now I just keep the deodorant spray bottles and I fill them with water it's great works well so I'm just going to wet this paper all over probably too much which is what I usually do so I'm going to get a tissue now and just lay that down on my paper hopefully it's got well it's got paint on it but that'll be okay hopefully and just dab the excess off now it has crinkled and done all sorts of things that's okay for what I'm doing if you don't want it to crinkle please use a different paper and I'm just going to lay that over where I can see my marks are here I'm going to see if I can actually spray this little bit that didn't get wet on this side maybe that'll go through and pick up my colouring on there I think that's working nicely and I'm going to pull this off very gently it's beautiful so we're going to let that dry so we can see the difference to when we've used the Crayola marker dry to where we have used it when we have wet the paper so this is a lot of fun moving this aside to dry I'm going to bring this back now use a little bit of water just to lift some of this color off the styrofoam stamp so before I pack this away I'm going to redraw on here I'll just use a different color so I might go yellow for the background and I might go pink for the puppy dog okay and what I'm going to do is draw it on and I'm going to place my sheet of paper over and I'm just going to spray from the back so just putting in our color here I might just get some yellow around the eye here looking all right we're going to get our paper and this is truly just an experiment and I'm going to sit that paper on here very gently give a rub down get my spray bottle and create a mess hopefully not just touching that down so there's plenty of water on there getting some tissue and just dabbing this down here like we did last time and seeing what we get now if I'm quick enough I might get the black in his nose if I just pull back to here you can see his little nose let's see what happens so just dabbing down And I might pull from this section and there we go he's gorgeous well she is gorgeous it works well I never knew that oh so we've just got a little bit to do on this okay so now to try some acrylic paint and some watercolor 
So I'll move this one aside to dry. I'm going to get this back. Now I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of water again. Just take back the marker. Now this time we're going to be sticking another piece of paper down here, just into this fold. So I'm just going to lay it down on there, see where it goes. Get that registered correctly, rub down on the taped areas and this will go back this way. Okay, so I'm back now with the acrylic paint and we're just going to do this by sections again. And I'm going to get some yellow, got my little paintbrush here and I'm just going to paint on the acrylic paint. Now it's going to dry very quickly here, so just in sections, get that across and pick up as we go. Okay, lovely. I've thinned down the paint with water as usual. I'm going to paint my little doggy crimson this time. I think I'll add some more around the eye, just in here. Alrighty, we want a little black nose. Get our crimson. Okay, so that looks quite good. I'll do some more work on that when it's dry. I'm just ready now to go straight into the watercolour one. So I'm just going to put some brown on first or some raw sienna on first, dark raw sienna. See how we go. Mm -hmm. Get our brush that we mentioned before. If it's starting to pool up. We can move that around a little bit. Okay, and we're going to have a little bit of blue. Lovely. really coming up well. Now I'm going to add the black.
There we go, just getting that beautiful and I can see when we add some black lines, might just try, might just see if I can go over that one, see what we get. Yes, a little bit of dark in there. Okay, so I think I'll finish up on this one and come back and show you them all and then start to work on them and bring them up to something really beautiful. So I look forward to seeing you in part two. Thanks for being with me. Have a happy arty time. Bye for now.